So small, too tall, gigantic, and well wrapped, a sculpture lesson in four parts with Rob, the art teacher. Part one, miniature worlds. Think small sculptures, in fact, tiny. Think mysterious, whimsical, hidden, and surprising. You will create tiny characters acting out a miniature scenario in a real world location. Hello, I'm Rob, the art teacher. I have degrees in art and art history, and I've taught art for more than four decades. I've taught all ages from seven to 70. I've also taught teachers. I love all things art, and I love teaching. In these short videos, I will share art tips, art projects, and lesson ideas that you can try at home or in your classroom. How do we think like an artist who makes sculpture? In this project, you will use play to create ideas. You will think about scale when selecting a location, and you will experiment with materials and objects in making your miniature world. The first step is to find or create your tiny actors. You might use toys or models. Maybe you'll try soap carving, paper cutouts, paper mache. Have a look around and see what you've got. Step two is to play with your tiny actors. Yes, play with them. Discover and try out different scenarios. Playing with them is the 3D version of sketching. Step three. Find a suitable location. You want one that suits your story that's in theme, but you also want one that's big enough, that has a grand scale, that will make your actors look tiny by contrast. Step four, set up the scene, fine tune it and check it from different directions and then photograph it in three ways. In close up, from a distance so we see the context, and see if you can do some photographs of you creating it. Have a look at these examples. These photographs show close-up views and wide-angle views of projects by Slinka Chu and Isaac Kordar. At the end of any project, I think it's a good idea to pause and reflect and review. I always ask my students, show me your finished project and tell me about it. And what did you learn during the project that was particularly valuable to you? If you tried the project, perhaps you can share it with a friend and say what you learned. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and share it. If you want to see more short videos with art tips, art projects and lesson ideas, please subscribe to my channel, Rob the Art Teacher.